Good morning and happy Sunday. I'm Kathleen Pate and this is my Alabama farm life and I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of what my new schedule looks like. I have a lot more to do now so I'm actually losing a lot of spare time that I used to have and I'm spending a lot of uh, that extra time on the new house. I am up fairly early most days. Feed the chickens, feed justice, have a cup of coffee and plan out what my day is going to be. So on um, this morning, there's no rain in our forecast. So I got out and I got a lot of weed eating and I've got some beans coming up. I'm really happy those are the lima beans and these are the purple whole beans or peas. I've got some little tomatoes coming up. I'm very pleased with my little cherries. But I got out here with my weed eater and I got a lot of uh, the high grass down that I haven't been able to get to here the last week or so. My second row of tomatoes are looking okay. I am starting to get some tomatoes, so that's really nice. But with all the rain, I haven't been able to get down too far into the field. And look at those pumpkin blooms and that bumblebee. As I moved over to the beans and the peas, I noticed that we were missing a lot of peas. We had a whole bunch that were fixing to uh, ripe. And then I also noticed that some of the tomatoes had been topped that were next to it. And then I discovered these. The deer have been in our garden and they are just tearing it up. I walked over to the other side of my peas and every one of my little okra plants have been topped. I still have some leaves on them so we still have hope, but they have topped every single one of them. One of the first things that we did was check the fence to make sure that nothing was on it and grounding it. The pears are propped up and actually I noticed this when I walked through here to the pears. There is a path and the grass has all been stomped down. It goes directly to this little pear tree. We are pretty sure the deer are coming in through here. There's no fencing, just the three tiered electrical fencing and they just walk right through it. So we're gonna have to do something about that. As a temporary solution, I've parked my truck down here to maybe block them. I also have an auto start on my truck that I'm going to use, and we're gonna see how that works. I'm hoping it's enough to scare them away temporarily. My neighbor had an one last mow on the yard before she moved out. So the gentleman came and mowed the yard across the street and we also asked him to come over here and we paid him to mow the lawn and cut down some of the higher grass around the house. So that's pretty much what I did yesterday. And then as it warms up, I come over here to the house and I start working on it for the day. Plus, Shelly Grace needs her breakfast too, if I could keep Justice from eating it all. That dog is so bad. This morning I decided to bring over something to put on my new mantle. This is a candle holder that I won from Bar Run Forge. I won this on their 500 follower live that they did a couple of weeks ago. These guys run a forge and do blacksmithing and I am absolutely fascinated with some of the work that they do. Plus they give an awesome Bible study and combine the message whatever they're making that day. Love this channel. You guys should go check them out. So while it's hot outside, I've come over to the house to do some work. I've got two more bags of garbage that need to go. I keep finding stuff 
there's just stuff everywhere and I'm trying to manage it as best I can. I worked on this room today. I'm gonna make this my main room. A bed here for me to sleep on. There's a dresser. And this area is gonna be where I put my desk and come Saturday, I'll have internet. So that will be awesome. I have a lot to do with these carpets. All the carpets are really dirty. I've decided that the next room I'm gonna work on is this front bedroom. I'm gonna make this the master bedroom. I fixed the vacuum cleaner, it needed a new belt. It still doesn't run right, but it is vacuuming and it is working. I've already started to remove some of the furniture out of here. I'm going to clean the carpets and then I'm going to paint everything. Once I have that bedroom done and ready to go, I'm gonna move all this furniture from this room and put it into this bedroom. I think it's going to look great when it's done. As I look around this room, I know there's things that I need to replace. The vent, it's rusty. I was looking at these curtains. I'm gonna take these all down and put in the proper hardware that it needs. I have to give my neighbor credit. She did the best that she could with what little she had to work with. She worked really hard to make her home beautiful, but it ended up just being too much for her and her husband. So this is why they let me buy the house. They knew that I would take care of it and love it just as much as they do. The basement, however, is another story. My neighbor's family is supposed to be coming over today. Today is the last day that I'm letting them get their things. I think there is a high top table and chairs and an electric wheelchair that they need to get. Oh, and there's a freezer upstairs. When I start cleaning down here in the basement, this is the room that I'm gonna start cleaning first. I think it's gonna be the easiest. This is also the kitchen area. Um, I thought there was a sink down here and water. I see a stove, there's a dryer, there's a spot for the washer and dryer. It used to be down here. When I do work down here, I'm gonna to have to keep the windows and doors open because you can smell the mold. And I'm gonna to have to invest in a ventilator because I don't think I'm gonna be able to work down here pulling the ceiling down and taking care of this mold without one. It's gonna be a lot of heavy duty gloves, a ventilator, and who knows, I may even have to invest in a hazmat suit. I don't know, but here's a sneak peek of my basement. I'm done with the house for the moment. I need to go run to the store. I need to get some painting supplies, a carpet cleaner, and just, you know, some various items to start working on getting the house freshened up. I'll work on the house till about 4, 4.30 after I get back from the store. And then usually I go in, grab a snack, and we head back outside and start working in the garden when it's cooled down. Today, I'm going to do some blueberries. I found the dehydrator in the basement, so I'm gonna bring it up. I need to clean it out. And I'm hoping that once I get that done, I'll pick some blueberries. We still have quite a few left on our bushes and I'm gonna to try to dehydrate some blueberries. That'll be in another video. I just watched Deb from Deb's Way dehydrate a whole bunch of mushrooms, and I'm really excited to break out this dehydrator, get it cleaned up, and start using it. Deb does Tea Tuesday, she does quilting, crafts, product reviews, and she goes shopping. So go check her out. But this is my day. I start off out in the fields, 
or in the yard in the mornings. Once it gets too hot, I'll take a break and then I'll end up back over here at the house. I'll work inside the AC most of the day. And then when it starts to cool off in the afternoon, I get back out into the fields or in the yards and trying to get things done. I'm hoping to get more tomatoes this year off my next two plantings. I've got lima beans and peas and beans and okra and the watermelon. We're really hoping that we do get some watermelon this year. So this is what my day looks like. Not exactly this, but this is what I do. This is my Alabama farm life. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. All right, so with that, this is the end of this video. You guys stick around. I've got tons and tons of stuff that I'm gonna be doing at this house and the house across the street. You guys have a great day.